Hello dear viewers, Masar Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zalji's YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about types of fish feed. What is feed and why you need to prepare it uh, or how will you give them to the culture media? The material on which fish feeds is called fish feed. In actual that is food that is given to the fishes artificially prepared. When uh, the fishes are in natural reservoirs like, such as lakes, rivers, streams, they don't need uh, feed from the external environment as they are in the extensive medium. In extensive medium, the whole feed is covered by the natural resources and uh, we will discuss these resources in the next uh, few slides. The fish food comes from two main sources namely the environment in which fish live I from the aquatic environment in which um, the aquatic lives are there. Outside the aquatic environment is the second source of food for the fishes uh, that comes from the land uh, surface of the earth. According to these differences in food sources, fish food can be divided into two main sources, uh, likewise natural food and artificial food. If we talk about natural food, what is the main source of sustaining the life of fish? Not only fishes, but also for the other aquatic animals as well. The foods that are gen naturally produced in the water of a reservoir are called natural food. Natural food is the main source of food for fish uh, for survival. As you know very well that uh, f uh, food is necessary for all the metabolic activities uh, of an individual, either it is uh, fish or some other aquatic animal. Examples include plankton, aquatic insects and plants, aphids and organic matter at the bottom of the pond. These all are found in the natural resources and they are not provided from the outside. The adequacy of natural food is a reservoir depends on the initial productivity of that reservoir. Every reservoir has its own resources that produces food for these aquatic animals. As we discuss about the chart or table uh, regarding to the types of the animals uh, aquatic animals and their feeds on which they feed actually these are all our natural resources uh, if we talk about predators these include catfishes they, uh, they eat on uh, fish frog insects and bottom feeders include common carp they feed on worms insect larvae snails and if we talk about zooplankton feeders uh, these include big head carp they feed on copepods cladis rods rotifers and if we talk about plant feeders, they feed, uh, such as grass carp, they feed on immersed, submersed. And if we talk about phytoplankton feeders, uh, such as silver carp, they feed on filamentous algae and microalgae. And now uh, we are going to talk about the artificial feed uh, which, uh, which we prepare in our modern feed mills uh, in order to feed our culture media in the artificial medium. In addition to providing natural food for the higher production, some food is provided from outside reservoir. These foods given from outside are called supplementary food or artificial food. Examples include rice husk, wheat bran, mustard oil cake, etc. These all are supplementary feed for the fishes. In addition to the above methods, fish food can also be classified in the following ways. Likewise, uh, pl plant food, animal food, mixed food, prepared food. These foods are prepared artificially and given to the fishes in the form of feed. Artificial feed is made from a mixture of natural ingredients and artificial ingredients that contain nutrients which are then processed and shaped. Artificial feed has an important factor in fish culture. Means to say if you control the right amount of feed, you can increase the productivity as well as beneficial cost of the culture media. And if we talk about benefits and deficiency, in artificial nutritional content can be adjusted to the needs as we have discussed in the previous lecture that we can control the amount of nutrients uh, when we are preparing a diet for a fish or feed for a fish. Uh, we select the selective ingredients uh, in a controlled amount, weigh them, mix them, regrind them and then we pack them uh, to be transported. So, uh, we can also reduce the uh, risk of disease uh, transmission because uh, we are giving the feed that is uh, well prepared, well managed and well controlled. Just like natural feed, artificial feed also has drawbacks such as relatively higher cost compared to natural feed and lower water quality because it is more difficult to decompose. In actual, uh, some uh, type of feeds are either uh, moist and some are in the form of pellet feeds. So pellet feeds are actually, uh, in most of the form, they are non-degradable. 
so it is uh, difficult to decompose them and they are also much uh, 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 co uh, costly than the uh, natural reservoirs food so the uh, price of the cultured media goes higher when you select the uh, when you are not selecting the right feed for your culture media and if we talk about the nutrient composition in the uh, feed ingredients uh, these three uh, are the main uh, um, uh, or the important uh, comp uh, components of the fish feed likewise if we talk about crude proteins uh, uh, they contain uh, rice bran up to 10% and soybean contains pro crude proteins about 40% fish meal contains proteins about 68% means the fish contains higher amount of proteins than all other two and if we talk about uh, lipid content in the rice bran soybean and fish meal these include 4, 4 and 6%. If we talk about uh, rice bran, uh, soybean meal and fish meal uh, containing carbohydrates, so higher carbohydrates are uh, in the rice bran and lower uh, most are in the fish meal. If we talk about types of artificial feed, they, they might be classified as follows such as plants food. Foods obtained from plants or vegetable sources are called vegetable foods such as phytoplankton, grasses, soft aquatic plants, rices, cornmeal, mustard oil cake, wheat bran, etc. And if you talk about animal food derived from animals or animal sources, it is called animal food. Examples include zooplankton, small aquatic insects, cattle blood, silkworm, fish meal, etc. These all are obtained from the animal sources via these procedures. Likewise, we can uh, get silkworms uh, from these silkworms. We get silk uh, from uh, which cloths, uh, clothes are also prepared art in the uh, cotton factories and if you talk about zooplankton these include small crustacean insects on which uh, uh, fishes feed initially and if you talk about mixed feed, uh, feed or mixed food is a food that is made by mixing both plant and animal sources examples include ri uh, uh, rice as cattle blood and decomposed organic matter at the bottom of the pound and if you talk about a prepared food prepared food is a balanced diet that is made by mixing different food ingredients together like food is produced in the form of granules pills or pellets there are different types of prepared food available in the market now such as starter, grower, uh, fingerling, fry stage, all these feeds are uh, available in the market. Artificial feed in uh, fish culture means to say are widely distributed in various lakes, rivers, ponds and fish reservoirs. Most of the fresh water fishery reservoirs are very productive and fish grow depends on the availability of a fish natural food organisms. Not only our, um, if we grow uh, our culture media in the ponds, then some uh, plan zooplanktons and phytoplanktons will also grow in inside the ponds and they will uh, help to reduce the cost of the feed that we are giving to them. Since reproductive potential of fish is very high, they grow fast in their free water bodies. Means to say when fishes are given in an open area to move freely, they will uh, grow uh, at a higher rate as compared to those in the tanks. For this purpose, only commercial purpose, species of fish are scientifically cultured. Means to say, all fishes, uh, all fishes species cannot be cultured. Only 30 species out of these are cultured in Pakistan, and for uh, for, for most of them, uh, highly cultured species are tilapia, uh, uh, tilapia and uh, rahu, and silver carp, grass carp. These are widely uh, cultured in Pakistan. And if we talk about uh, uh, sustainable and freshwater uh, fishes uh, culture on scientific basis principally depend upon the use of nutritionally adequate, economical, valuable, and environmental friendly artificial feeds. We will use the feeds that will lower the cost of the uh, overall culture media as well as it, it will help in a higher growth rate as well as we can increase the tasty, uh, tastier content in the fishes. Since the feed uh, goes vary between 40 and 65 percent of the total uh, managerial expenditure in freshwater fish culture system, means to say, we are not giving only feed to the culture media. We are also maintaining uh, water quality, pH, temperature, uh, disease, etc. So all these uh, come into the cost of the culture media. But most, uh, but highly of them uh, valuable is fish feed. Artificial feeds must be scientifically formulated and adequately supplied so that the entire amounts of nutritional input, uh, inputs in the feeds may be utilized by the fish. Two types of artificial uh, feeds are commonly used likewise dry feeds and non-dry feeds. If we talk about dry feeds, these are made from dry food ingredients. Uh, they are uh, made via wick mixture. It, uh, e even if it is dry, it will also contain uh, almost 8-10% to of the water content or moisture in it. Uh, there are two types of the dry uh, feeds. They, they might be in the form of mashes or meals. Food that are made with very common dry food ingredients are called mashes or meals. If we give them definite shape, then these feeds will come, will become the pellets of certain size. So, why there is uh, there question arises that why there is moisture in the dry feed, uh, although its name is dry. 
when we uh, mix uh, when we mix different ingredients there is some amount of uh, water added to them to mix them all together uh, thoroughly therefore uh, some mixture remains in them even they are the dry feeds and if you talk about non dry feeds uh, there are usually two types of non dry feeds such as wet and moist if you talk about wet feed usually wet feed is made up of different types of wet ingredients such as frozen uh, or whole shredded or abundant fish it means to say when the fishes are dead we, uh, we can use them in the uh, form of uh, feed by crushing them into fine uh, uh, fine uh, amount or fine pieces size this type of food contains a 45 to 70% moisture it has highest amount of moisture in the feed the use of such foods has declined to a large extent due to the increase in production and use of formulated feeds. Means to say, they are uh, they are uh, they feed they uh, thought to be costly and they are uh, contaminating the water quality. Therefore, formulated feeds are used, which gives a higher growth rate, which gives higher nutrition value as well as lower cost and lower the uh, uh, water pollution uh, as well. The uh, wet food is mainly used for marine species. If we talk about most food, is made with a mixture of dry and wet ingredients or when it is made with dry ingredients it is mixed with water to add some moisture to it likewise it contains moisture of 18 to 40 percent some species of fish prefer moist foods to dry foods because uh, as you like uh, some fishes are more uh, are more enjoyable when they eat um, uh, some moist food uh, they will feel comfortable Be because it is difficult to swallow the dry foods uh, they are dry in their composition this type of food is widely used in salmon hatcheries. Non dry foods, especially most in wet, tend to be palated, ball, or cake shape. Both types of foods are made with a combination of vitamins, minerals, oils, and additives. These are all depending upon the requirement of the fish as to their growth or life stage. That was the lecture for today. Hope so you have understood it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will meet in the next video. Till then, peace out.